Good morning, folks. Today is the National Space Weather Enterprise Forum. If you're coming out today, I'll be right by registration from when they open until the event begins. See you there. Right now, let's come to spaceweathernews.com. We're finding the last 24 hours on our star were calm, and to see what's coming requires a firm gaze at the horizon at the umbral magnetic fields. The solar flaring is completely silent, and that's even with the sunspot on the disk that has been flirting with delta-class magnetism since the weekend. They begin turning away today. The solar wind appears to have seen all it will see from the northern aspects of the coronal hole stream is purple. The solar wind speed is coming back down, leaving us well out of magnetic storm conditions. But over the following days, the stream from the central trans-equatorial opening bringing up the rear will sweep past our planet, likely to be Wednesday night or Thursday. Folks, what you're seeing here is a toggle between the optical light spectrum, the X-ray spectrum, and a combination of the two. The visible structure looks like a mashup of something, and X-ray reveals that's exactly what it is. Ultraluminous X-ray sources tell us it is indeed two galaxies that are crashing together about 140 million light years away. The images and this animation are from Chandra. This is the poster we'll be presenting today just after lunch here at the National Space Weather Event. More details and zoomed in looks are found in the most recent episode of Deeper Look for our website members. We've got the weather around the world and up through the atmosphere, followed by shots of our star to close. We'll do this run again tomorrow, right here, but right now at 6.20 a.m. in the nation's capital. Eyes open, no fear. Be safe, everyone.